that's my Maryland. Two new songs are striking a new chord about Maryland. Maryland, my Maryland. There's a different sound to each one, but the motivation behind them has a similar tune to get rid of the old state song. It refers to Abraham Lincoln as a tyrant and a despot. Our state song really has to go. It is just so pro-Confederate. Uh, talks about Abraham Lincoln as the tyrant uh, at our door. Wanna hear the keys of Jefferson Holland is a local musician out of Annapolis whose lyrics reflect what he witnessed as a former river keeper and whose baritone ukulele may have you tapping your toes. Congressman Jamie Raskin has slipped into a different role as songwriter. He's a Democrat from Montgomery County who served in the state Senate for about 10 years. Rockville to Baltimore. Both of them wrote two different songs with the hope of inspiring a movement to replace the old one. Restore the Chesapeake for me and you. What moved you to mention the Chesapeake Bay? The hard thing was to write a song about Maryland that wasn't just about the bay. And in order to do that, um, you have to write a song about the people and the the drama of our history, these amazing characters like Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass and Thurgood Marshall. Congressman Raskin says the song he wrote with the help of producer Jeff Gruber and the voice of London Mava, a student from Northwestern High School, could make history. There's not a single state song in America that mentions a black person. Harriet Tubman built a secret lane, said come on board this freedom train. Dignified. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. It's beautiful. It's just not my style. I want to celebrate and have fun. And uh, when you start naming names, you're bound to leave some out. And if you really need to name all of the people who made this state great, that song's going to be three hours long. Annapolis gospel singer Kathy Stansberry assists Holland with the vocals, and Randy Nielsen produced the audio and video. Down to meet the so rather than name names, I named things that are uh, that I love about the mountains and the, and the beach and building a sandcastle and looking at the ospreys and catching a crab. Those are the things that I think are worth celebrating that everybody can participate in and that what's, that's what makes the state great. Billy both songwriters say a little friendly competition may spark a new debate among state leaders. House Speaker Adrian Jones has said she supports repealing the state song during the 2021 session. If it just kicks off a process um, that allows people to see, we don't have to accept the current song. And somebody comes up with a better one than us, more power to them. What we've created is a fun song that anybody can sing and whether that becomes a state song or not, it's, it's there and it's going to be part of my repertoire forever. And of course, we like that the Chesapeake Bay is celebrated in both songs. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.